Hello everyone, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. Today we are going to convert a distance in feet to its equivalent in miles, yards, and feet in C++. But as usual, we are first going to write the algorithm and then use the algorithm to model our code in C++. So, let's simplify. Assume you are the captain of JB and Sons Airline Limited. And you are approaching Britain, a country that still measures distances in miles, yards, and feet. Your range finder unfortunately can read only distances in feet to the nearest whole number. Fortunately enough, your plane has a small personal computer on which the C compiler has been installed. It has become very necessary for you to write a simple computer solution that will later be coded in C language to convert a number of distances in feet to miles, yards, and feet. You should accept as input a distance in feet and display the equivalent in miles, yards, and feet. If a term is zero, it should not be printed. Note, one mile equals 1760 yards and three feet equals one yard. The example given should be, an, should be our output. To the algorithm, we are to accept distance in feet as input. So we say input distance. Next, we are going to convert the distance in feet into miles. Using our knowledge from mathematics, according to the question, 1 mile equals 1,760 yards and 3 feet equals 1 yard, meaning 1,760 times 3 feet equals 1 mile. So to convert the distance to miles, we say miles equals distance divided by 1,760 times 3. Now, after converting the distance into miles, we are going to check if there is a remainder. So we say miles rem equals distance modulus 1760 times 3. Now, if there is a remainder indeed, with our knowledge from mathematics again, we are going to convert this remainder, which is in feet, into yards. According to the question, 3 feet equals 1 yard. So to convert to yards, we say yards equals miles rem divided by 3. Again, we are going to check if there is a remainder in feet after converting to yards. So we say yards rem equals miles rem modulus 3. Now if there is still a remainder in feet after converting to yards, we just assign that remainder to feet. So we say feet equals yards rem the point is the idea is that after converting the distance into miles yards and feet equivalent if i convert miles back to feet yards back to feet plus the feet remainder i had if i combine all these three together i should get the user's distance now from here we can print our results, but from the question, if a term is zero, it should not be printed. So, if zero should not be printed, then what should be printed? Uh-huh, uh-huh, any whole number aside zero. So we say, if mouse is greater than zero, then print mouse. Now, because we study COM skills, we want our computer to display correct grammar. So we say, if mouse is equal to 1, then print the string mile, 1 mile, else print miles, and if, and if. Now, we are going to copy this block of if statement and then change the mouse to yards. So we see if yards is greater than 0, print yards. Now, if yards is equal to 1, then print yard else print yards and if and if again we're going to copy that block of if statement and then change the mouse to fit so we say if fit is greater than zero then print fit if fit is equal to one then print foot else print fit and if and if so if mile is one it should display one mile if Yard is one, it should, it should display one yard. So if if foot if the foot is one, it should display one foot instead of one feet. So our grammar is now checked. Alright, friends, we are through with the algorithm. 
let's take a look at our code in C++. But before that, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Alright then, to our code in C++. In my int main function, I declare distance, fit, mouse, yards, mouse rem, and yards rem as integers. See out, enter distance in fit, in quotation mark as a string. So the computer should display to the user, enter distance in fit, see in distance. The user should enter via the keyboard the integer value of distance. Mouse equals distance divided by 1760 times 3. We should convert the user's distance into mouse. Mouse rem equals distance modulus 1760 times 3. Convert the user's distance. Sorry, find the remainder after converting to mouse. Then yards equals mouse rem divided by 3. Convert the remainder of the mouse to yards. Then from there, yards rem equals mouse rem modulus 3. Find the remainder after converting to yards. Then fit equals yards rem. Assign the remainder of the yards to fit. Now to the ifs. If mouse is, mouse is greater than 0, see out mouse, display mouse. Then if the mouse is equal to 1, attach mouse, else attach mouse. So you're going to do the same thing for yards and then fit. So the, as I said, if yards is greater than 0, see out yards. If yards is 1, display yard, else display yards. The same thing with the fit. For fit, if it is 1, display foot, or display fit. System post is greater than 0. This will ensure that only the needed information will be displayed when we run our code. And by custom, return 0. So from here, I'm going to input an integer value for distance. And then you see how our code will run. Enter distance in fit. So I entered an integer value 5287 via my keyboard. And on pressing enter, it displayed 1 mile, 2 yards, 1 foot. So if I convert 1 mile to feet, 2 yards to feet, and I add a 1 foot, I am going to get 5287, which is correct, which means our code is running properly. Running the code again, enter distance in feet, I, I entered via my keyboard 5279, and it displayed 1759 yards, 2 feet. So you can see that mouse was not displayed because mouse was 0. So our code is again running properly. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the, all the best in the exam. Till then, a party!